Wait, wait, ready? There you go. Does it look, does it look good? <laughs> it doesn't look good. Also, like, how do we do, what do we do with our arms? Like, are, am I like this? And are we like, that's weird. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Julia Tries. Hello, welcome back to Julia Tries Everything for season four. We are having a very special episode with a very, very special guest today. We are at Boathouse in Disney Springs with Adriana, our brand new host of Iconic Eats. I'm very excited for you guys to meet her. And we are going to try all of the fancy food here. That's all the seafood, the raw bar, all the appetizers, sandwiches, steaks, dessert, cocktails, more dessert, more cocktails. More dessert. More dessert. <laughs> This is like the fanciest place you can go in Disney Springs. It's like on everyone's bucket list. So pinky up. Pinky up the entire time. Ready to go, Chelsea? Ready. All right. Woo Bye. <laughs> That's so cute. Yay. We're right you. We are starting out strong, literally. We got our blueberry lemonade, which is blueberry vodka, lemon vodka, house made lemonade, and little blueberries on top. I love this ombre that it has going on. Ready to mess it up though? Yeah. Like, okay. mm. Yes. You know like a blue raspberry slushy? Uh-huh. Like on a hot day? Yeah. This is the adult version of that. Mm. It's easy to drink. I feel like I could slurp this down. Oh yeah. You had told me about these oysters and there's like a whole thing about them. So these are the Lucky Ducks oysters. They are harvested just for the boathouse, so you can only get them here. I'm doing the mignette. It's a cucumber one, it says, which, oh, you actually can smell the cucumber. It smells like, you know when it's you go to a good. spa and you put the cucumbers on your eyes? It smells like that. It's really fresh. And then their cocktail sauce comes with fresh horseradish on top, so you get Ooh. like that nice zip and spice. You know when it like clears your nasal yeah. passages out? That'd be for your allergies. Ooh. You should just be doing horseradish. Horseradish every day for your <laughs> allergies. Cheers. Yep. I like the cocktail sauce, sauce more. I'm not a cucumber girl. Oh, I okay. like the cucumber mignette. It's like you get you you get that fresh cucumber flavor in it. The oyster itself, because I realized we just talked about the sauce. The oyster itself is like the right amount of briny. I like mine on, instead of being the sweet ones, I like the briny, like, I like salt. Yeah. One of the cool things they do here at the Boathouse is when you order your oysters, you can get a drink pairing. So yes. they'll make you a specific cocktail um, that goes with the type of oysters you order. And they don't just have the Lucky Duck oysters. They have a variety of Florida oysters. You're so smart. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, how many times do you think you've been here? I would say I've been to the boathouse 15 times at least. I have my favorite spots that I like to sit at. This it's, is not one of them. This, this is not my favorite spot. I like to sit outside on the dock. It's beautiful. I come here a lot. I have a lot of memories here. And a new memory. <laughs> okay, this is the Key West Peel and Eat Shrimp. It's covered in a, what looks probably Old Bay seasoning. Like shrimp is your thing, right? This is like your favorite. You also say it's your favorite meat. Yes. We, okay, so I, I. Okay, go on. I understand that that's a controversial topic if seafood is considered meat. Me and my family, we call anything that comes from an animal meat. And so seafood, specifically shrimp, is my favorite meat. I, like, see, I would be like, shrimp is my favorite seafood, and then I have like a different favorite meat. Do you know what I'm saying? So then I, I can have two favorites. I didn't think about it that way. Oh, I would like to have mouth. two favorites now. Oh. It has a hard shell. You peel it, and then all of that seasoning gets on your shrimp. Oh, It's amazing. I feel like the butter is like the purest choice of the two. You get the true flavor of the shrimp with uh -huh. the butter. Up next, we have the broiled bay shrimp scampi. Panko breadcrumbs, lemon, garlic, butter, lots of butter. Like, it's just a pool of it. I'm going to put it on my toast. Smart. Oh. All right, I'm just falling in love slowly. Mm. Mm. I'm definitely getting some type of red wine. I mean, r white wine. <laughs> yellow wine? Yellow wine. I'm tasting some yellow wine in here. It's not as garlicky and punchy as some other shrimp scampies I've had. It's much more mellow and buttery and like rich tasting, I would say. I think it doesn't even need the bread as I dip more bread into it. Yeah. What do you think? 
I think it's good on its own, but the bread is the, is the treat. What do you want to try next? Chelsea's pointing to the bread. Let's get the bread. Do you, here, tag team. Okay. You is know, there? You know, I just wanted to put that. I know you just wanted to put that near you. <laughs> this is their signature house roll. It's like a brioche. It has a nice glaze on top. The glaze is slightly sweet. And then of course it comes with butter. These are fresh made. You're gonna wanna keep ordering them as your meal comes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Did you just like get a tiny piece? Yeah. I would like the whole roll. <laughs> we're about to, do you know how much we're eating today is the question. We have many, many more rounds to go. I might get full. <laughs> I don't think you're prepared for what this episode is. We have a yellowfin tuna poke with avocado, mango, and a soy lime vinaigrette. Mm. And a little, little wonton chips. Mm. It's a lot of ginger and it's really good. Are we shooting again? Yeah. Oh. Wait, you guys like... You what? did a number. Massacred you just it. said <laughs> that you shouldn't eat all the things. Tuna poke is really light, though. Mm. It's so light. It doesn't even count. It's like negative calories. I was tasting some sort of orange flavor in it, and Adriana was explaining that sometimes if you have a lot of cilantro, it can give it, what is it? In a, a, a citrus flavor. I love this. This is super light. Like, you could eat this on your own and have room for everything else on the menu, which is what we did. <laughs> if you haven't had carpaccio before, it's essentially sliced really thin like a prosciutto, and it's actually raw beef. Cured in different kind of flavors. This one we have some, it looks like fried capers on here, arugula. I've never um, had carpaccio before. Do you want to try it on its own? Sure. Okay. It's very mellow, right? It is. I would think it would be sharp. It's not a, a sharp flavor at all. It's very mellow, very soft. Kind of melts on your tongue almost. Uh-huh. Yep. We're about to be like, wasted before we even get to the next round. We're on vacation. We are. I forget about that. We got the coconut shrimp, pineapple salsa. It is a orange chili sauce. And generally with coconut shrimp, you get like a sweet sauce that goes with it. Like what a sweet and spicy. What if I just let you do the review so I get to watch you? No, I have my own thing. You're not supposed to eat that in one bite at all. That's a two biter. But go ahead and do it in one bite like I did. This, it's just pineapple and cilantro. Oh my God. Give it to me. You're in heaven. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's for you? Okay. It's fine. <laughs> my favorite thing about coconut shrimp is that the coconut is the breading. So it's like extra crispy and crunchy, but you get that coconut flavor. Yep. And then there's always like a sweet and spicy component to it. There's always like a spicy sauce you can dip it in. So it like gives you that perfect like savory, sweet, spicy, all the flavors in one. That was really, I wasn't expecting that to be so good. To switch it up, I'm gonna say the coconut shrimp is my favorite because I think the shrimp scampi is probably one of their most popular ones that everyone knows to order. So like, you don't need me to tell you it's good. I think the coconut shrimp was a really big surprise to me. What about you? I'm gonna say the tuna poke is a great starter. Um, it's not super heavy. You're not gonna fill up before your meal. But I also truly enjoy the coconut shrimp. There you have it. Round you two. gotta get this drink. Oh yeah, and get the drink. Well, that was obvious. Look at us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fall into the water later. I can't Great. wait. Great. <laughs> Clickbait. Perfect. Thank you. Um, He's a cutie. He is. Cute. Don't tell my boyfriend I said that. He's literally gonna watch this video, so oh, good luck. Oh no! <laughs> Our server did tell us that these drinks are more alcohol. You just started drinking it. We have we have to shoot beauties. Ugh. You have to shoot. <laughs> I am so sorry. It, it's baby's first time. Our server was telling us that these drinks are even stronger than the ones we just had, and then Adriana decided to just like start drinking it, and like, it's fine. We're gonna go shoot beauties, and we'll come back, and it'll act like none of this ever happened. Bye. We're starting with the jumbo lump crab cake. And this has a chipotle tartar sauce with it. Mm. And I would say that's pretty lump. When you when there's too much filling and it's kind of bready and falls apart like cornbread, not good. You want the lumps. I try it with the tartar sauce. Wow. It's definitely a smoky tartar sauce, no spice to it at all. Oh. Mm. I love how large it is. Generally when you get crab cakes, they're like smaller and you're hoping that it's meaty. 
Like that's the thing when you order crab cakes. Like I hope it's a good crab cake. Yes. This is one massive good it's cake. Al it's also like a patty instead of you know how they're like more like a mound. Mm -hmm. This one's like a patty situation. Big so it's crispy on both sides. Yeah. Where when you get the big one, it's all soft on the inside. Where this one, you can get crisp in almost every bite. This is the shipwreck. It's two different rums, pasoa, passion fruits, with the cherry and an orange on top. Yep. It's real strong. <laughs> <laughs> we looked up what Pessoa was because, what is it? It's it, the passion fruit liqueur, which is used for porn star martinis and porn star shots. A boathouse porn star drink? Jesus. Wait, so if I thought, <laughs> okay, so if I thought the first drink was a getting wrecked on the beach, and this is actually called It's called shipwreck. shipwreck. We are wrecked. You can't operate a vehicle after this. Immediately upon taking your first sip, you're going to get a very strong rum flavor. Um, it is liquor forward. Wow. Is, that, is your eye twitching? <laughs> the little tear. It's just like, I wasn't expecting that. That's a lot of alcohol. We have the grilled mahi tacos. When you look at it, it's kind of like, is that chicken? And like. Is it a chicken? Salsa roja, and then we have a Mexic. Oh, that's the Mexican crema, crema on it. Okay, mm. okay. You want to take one? Yeah, Here we'll we take go. one. Ooh. Oh, there's three. One for you, Chels. Yay. Okay, <laughs> ready? Cheers. I need. I it needs the salsa on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's missing something for me. Mm -hmm. I like the mai. It's a meaty fish. You get a lot of fish in it. If you're a taco purist and you really want to try the mahi, I would eat it like this. But if you're a taco person, you really enjoy tacos, it needs to be a couture This is a main style lobster roll. It has big chunks of lobster on it. <laughs> a little bit of seasoning, just a touch of mayo, not a lot. I'm excited to drink, I mean drink it, oh my God. <laughs> wow. It's the shipwreck. When you come here, order the shipwreck. You'll understand. You will, you'll get it. I'm sorry. There's it, like multiple claws on here, though. No, it's a lot of lobster. Is this a whole lobster? It's, it and feels like more than a whole roll? lobster. Is it two lobsters? I don't know. It's a <laughs> lot in there, though. This is one of your more pricier items at Boathouse, but 10 out of 10 recommend. It's one of their signature items. You have to try it when you come here. I don't think I've seen a lobster roll with this much of a claw meat. Mm. Like, that's... Usually you get one piece of claw meat and that's just to look pretty and kind of make you feel fancy, but this is a lot of claw meat. So I think just price wise, it's actually probably a bang for your buck because of how much lobster they put in it. You don't need the French fries, but we're not gonna gloss over these French fries. So this is a quality French fry right there. Look at that crisp. They don't take the skin off. Please leave the skin on my French fries. We have our dockside shrimp oil. We got corn on the cob, obviously a lot of shrimp, red potatoes and dewy sausage. And we have Adriana holding up the, the seasoning. I think you can buy it here, right? Yes, you can. You can buy it in the gift shop. It's similar to an Old Bay, but it's their house mix. Very thyme, rosemary, lemon, pepper, salt. You pop your shrimp, so you hold the back of the, the tail. You gently squeeze, and it should pop out. But then you get all of your meat. You can pull it, but they... Yeah. And there you have your whole perfect piece. Again, with the drawn butter. Oh my God. It just tastes more decadent with the butter. Okay. Wait, is this all butter at the bottom of here, by the way? Is that just it's butter? It's a pool of butter. Is that what we're dipping in? It's just swimming in That's a pool. That's just butter. Letting my fish hang out On top out of in butter here. My trip on vacation food. <laughs> my favorite is the crab cake. My favorite is gonna be the shrimp boil. It is probably when you go to like a seafood spot, it's what I want to order more often because it has the shrimp, it has the the potatoes, it has the corn, it has the andouille sausage. It's really filling too. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we keep eating all this. We have another round. Oh God. Sandwich round. Sandwich round. No, no messing around anymore. Mm. It's happening. Yeah. We got filet mignon sliders, basil, parsley. Yeah. Shallot. Ooh. Okay. Not regular onions. And look, there's two. One for each of us. I have us. spent a mini night in Boathouse having filet mignon sliders with my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a tradition. That is incredible. Oh my. God. Oh my God. The shallot. 
Charles. Yeah? No, you really do. What's crazy is that there's no cheese, tomato, lettuce, nothing. That's so good. It's just That's so good. Filet mignon and the compound butter, and it's delicious. Oh my god. If you don't feed your camera woman, she starts taking more slow-mo shots and more like double chin shots. <laughs> so you must always feed her. Tell me about this beer. What are we having here? It looks special. So this is the Florida Avenue Brewing Dockside Lager. What makes it special is it's specifically for the boathouse. And then this Dockside Lager logo is the boathouse that we're actually sitting in. So that's the outside bar. I love the can. I would like, you know what? This would be a cute little ornament, like Christmas ornament. <gasps> Right? And like you keep the top on, you and just add like, a little, Whoa. yeah. Also earrings, but like mini, you know. No, we oh. can make you earrings. Unfortunately, you would be able to rock it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Both of us don't care about beer, so. I wish I had more words to describe beer, but light, creamy, it's, it's like a fancy Keystone light. You still like like Natty Ice? Mm -hmm. Oh. But that's not a, I like those beers. Like being able to shotgun those. Imagine if you shotgunned one of these at the dockside bar. So this is the Yacht Club Club. <laughs> okay, that's all I have to say about it. What we have in here, roasted turkey breast, cucumber, bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, chipotle honey mayo, Swiss cheese, and a multi-grain bread. Pretty sauce on there. There's the cucumber, we have avocado, and then we have our layers of our cheese and our bacon and turkey. Let's try it. I feel like the way you judge a good club, turkey club, is how good the bacon is. Oh, wow. That's a thick boy. Mm. I heard the crisp. It's good. Okay, we're moving to cheeseburger. Ooh. But before we do, something I realized we forgot to do was a fun fact. And fun I'm, gonna fact. Let you, I'm gonna let you take it. Yeah, fun fact, in and around the boathouse, there are over a dozen fully functional boats. You can eat in them. You can, yeah. there's one you can eat in, and then there's a few that you can actually drive outside. They won't let you, but you know, I might ask for the keys. <laughs> She's an encyclopedia, by the way, of <laughs> theme park stuff. Like, you'll just casually say something, and Chelsea and I are both just like, what? She was talking about the soap that we have at our hotel and talking about how it's like the most coveted one. Things that I just did yeah. over my head. But what's not over my head is this cheeseburger. The one thing that makes this a little bit different than other cheeseburgers is that it's in a custom grind, which means that they're doing it here on the location, making it. It hopefully is a little bit more like flavorful. There's a fry attached to mine. Oh, maybe that's a, that's good luck. Yeah. I would say that this is very standard, classic, kind of like the turkey club, honestly. Like, both of these are very safe options. I think if you're going somewhere like the boathouse, you should try something a little bit out of your comfort zone. But if you're a little scared, you know, like seafood freaks you out, I know a lot of people are like that, then fine, go with this. You're gonna be very, very happy, especially if you have one of these beers with it. I Honestly, this is, these go together really well. Okay, last one. Grilled fresh mahi sandwich with a chipotle tartar sauce. Um, may I cut this in half for us? Yeah. Okay. Come right ahead. Just on our date. On our date. At the boathouse. It's our first date. Oh. You look so pretty today. Thank you. You're you awesome. do too. Ooh. How much lemon do you like? I want the. Uh, I like the whole thing. Yeah. Yes. Get it on both sides. Yep, both sides. You know what? That was a lot of lemon. The yes. bread is soggy now. Now it's slippery. <laughs> meaty. Lemony. Yeah, Mahi's a meaty fish. Uh-huh. I like this way better than the tacos. If you like a fish sandwich, it is a meatier fish. It's grilled. The grilled flavor is there. Mm -hmm. It's a good option. Okay, so what's your favorite, though? Is it is it the mm. fl Is yours also going to be the same as mine? The filet mignon sliders. Yeah, you can't go wrong. That's the obvious winner from the round. Mm. Next round. Round number four. four. Okay, so you said that this is like the drink to get here? Yes, this is the drink to get here. It's super pretty. This is the Duck Duck Raz. It is um, raspberry vodka, blue curacao, and a peach schnapps. Wow. It's very sweet, but also just, just good, refreshing. 
Um, and it's the prettiest cocktail you can get. I, in all of Disney World, I would say. Do you get to keep the duck? You do get to keep the duck. It's a souvenir. Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Is that not strong to you? Am I just a baby? It's very vodka forward. Also, it matches your, wait, your nails. Look at that. Are we kidding? And the fit. Wait, yeah, have we even acknowledged your outfit? <laughs> well, we're at the boathouse, so I need to look like I'm gonna drive a boat. And it's Donald Duck inspired. Can you show them your shoes or your feet? Like, you were born to drink this drink and, and wear this and walk around. <laughs> okay, I would like the screenshot of just this. <laughs> My thing is I'm always about more bang for your buck. And I think that this is a great drink, but also like you get a free souvenir. Mm -hmm. This is a shrimp and andouille mac and cheese. And it comes with a piece of bread. It reminds me of like Texas toast, but Oh thinner. yeah, but like Italian style. A Italian Texas. When you put sausage inside um, mac and cheese, it is Texas Italian. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the shell. The way it just holds in all that cheese. Oh, this is like you're ready to either drink a lot or go run a marathon. If you're gonna do run Disney, like for race weekend, this would be a good carbo load. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have the boneless ribeye. It is a 75 day aged Gibson's grass fed beef from Australia. Not fun fact, but fun fact for my own life is that it's my favorite cut now. Oh, I really? used to only do filet mignon because that's what I grew up knowing as fancy. And then I met Ribeye, I think at Texas Roadhouse was one of the episodes where we like, my first time really eating it. And I was like, holy <laughs> this is delicious. And it's also sometimes slightly cheaper than the filet, but it's way juicier. Am but I a Ribeye girl now too? You should be. I like to go actually back and forth between these. What I would love to do, Take out the andouille sausage, cut this up, and put it in there. <gasps> Tell me that that is not like, you know, the most sexiest feeling you've ever had. In your oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> it's a big bite. But do it! No, no, do it! It's gonna be good. You, she's dead, in heaven. God bless you. We actually don't have iconic eats happening anymore. R.I.P. This is amazing. <laughs> oh. I do think we need to try the porterhouse to get a true comparison. I'm ready. Okay. You want an intro? Oh my god. <laughs> so the porterhouse is sim <laughs> We have the porterhouse, which is a similar to a T-bone type steak where there's a lot of meat on it, so it's actually great to have for two people, especially if you do it Oscar style, which is what we have over here. Typically, uh, Oscar style is a crab lump, big old lump with the Bernays sauce, but we did the lobster because, I don't know, it looked fancy and we were fancy today. Sharing this for two people on top of cocktails, bunch of apps, and saving room for dessert, it's the perfect combo. It's really juicy. It almost looks juicier than the other one. Also, the cut is thicker. Mm. This one melts in your mouth. It's giving me like the lip gloss, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that you can see all of the seasonings on top. Mm -hmm. Like when you think of juicy steak, you think of like, they season it and then they hit, hit it on that that pan and it makes that sizzle sound like there's a nice char on the outside the flavor comes through you can like see the little salt flakes yeah you can see the salt flakes it's juicy soft on the inside do we want to attempt this yeah fun fact oscar style is named after king oscar the second from the late 1800s he was from sweden and he loved having a big lump of crab meat with the Bernays sauce with two asparagus on top of his steak. So um, we have way more than two <laughs> spears of asparagus. And I think we're gonna feel like maybe a king for a moment. I was like, is it safe to say we're eating like kings today? No, Qu queens. you're eating like queens. Like queens, queen. Do queens eat ducky, like ducky blue mm. drinks maybe? I feel like Queen Elizabeth would be like, do you think she has a cocktail with, with, where it'd be like a floaty corgi? <gasps> Wouldn't that, that be, so, be cute? so cute? I'm excited. Is it safe to say that I have hit my wall, but I'm excited to try this? Yeah, yeah, you're definitely hitting the wall now. Okay. It was the bread in the beginning. Mm. Oh, that's sweet meat. It's really sweet. It's interesting because we had the lobster roll earlier and it wasn't, it didn't taste like this. Like it tastes way more 
Yeah, tropical lobster. This lobster was on vacation, then it went really wrong, you know? I love doing, I think I like the porterhouse with this together. I think it's really fun that you're getting your, what is it, the surf and turf situation. I think that that's really fun. Why are we the same? I was like, these two together, it's, it's, if you want to eat like a king, you want to eat like a queen, you want to feel like royalty at Disney World, Disney Springs, this would be the, the thing that I would order. <laughs> Dessert round! Dessert! <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> what is this? Bring it down. Oh Guys, my. I, I literally cannot God. see. <laughs> like, 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 where did you go? This where is a fourth you... of a cake. <laughs> my God. Wait, I... This may be the most chaotic dessert round we've ever done in history of the show. This is the macadamia turtle pie. Serves. Two people, you know, just two. So just Adriana and I will easily polish us off. Macadamia nuts. Oh, chocolate. Oh God. Caramel. Uh huh. Oh, is vanilla ice cream. Uh huh. Crack. Is there like a macadamia crust at the bottom? Yeah, let Let's it. Just let it. Oh no. Sit her down. There you go. Yep, that's the best part right there. Mm. Mm, do it. It's like a cookie, a macadamia nut shortbread cookie. Oh no. <gasps> What's that? I think we need a, a drink break. Key lime pie martini, which is liquor 43. I, I'm assuming that's a, a key lime pie flavoring. Uh, key lime juice and cream. So it's really simple. And graham cracker crust. It looks it looks like a key lime pie in a, in a cup. Yo, I'm gonna chug this. Is it, it's literally just a melted key lime pie slice. Like it's super tart. Like key limes. This is the sweet. best. This is the best key lime pie thing, like martini I've had. This is a baked Alaska. Yeah. It is a special item here at the boathouse because it is no longer on the menu. You have to special order it. Um, it takes how many days to make? Four days. Four days to make, and then they set it on fire, literally, and get the marshmallows nice and toasty, and then they bring it out to your table. This thing is crazy. Where do you want? Where do you begin? Here? I don't know. Wait, is this all marshmallow? I do believe so. Wait, look at that. It might be. I think it is. Wait. Oh. Is it? That's why it takes so many days to make. <laughs> I think this might be the most chaotic round I have ever shot. Of None of it makes sense. No. It's so good though. Honestly, this is a good celebration dessert. Yeah. It's our, we should name him or her. Sally. Sally? Uh huh. She does have a Sally vibe to her. Uh -huh. Okay, chocolate raspberry martini. Trader's Vix. I don't know what that is. Raspberry vodka, chambord, and cream in here. Trader Vix is a particular bar that you can go to. They have a lot of different locations, but like they probably make a specific type of alcohol. Um, okay, so that's in here? I don't know. Yeah. Cheers. You can't even see the cheers because of this thing. Raspberry and chocolate go good together, just like strawberry and chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like chocolate and raspberry better than chocolate and strawberry because the raspberry has a stronger flavor to me. Yeah. This tastes like a Valentine's Day, like, you know those chocolate boxes? It tastes like a chocolate box from Valentine's Day in a, in a little martini glass. And I actually enjoy you like this, one more? this better. The key lime pie is very tart. Mm. Um, but you're a key lime pie enthusiast. I know. I'm a tart girl. Where I, I do love chocolate and then put a berry in it and it's amazing. Well, you want to do the pineapple upside down? Okay. I guess so. How are we? Okay. Yeah, we can just scoot and move. This is the, Chaos. it just says, pe it just says pineapple see. upside she down. She can't see. I literally she can't Okay, see. we can move it. Look at. Oh. Okay, oh, wait. Oh, no. And, this is the scariest. Okay. No, it's still too tall. A pineapple upside down cake with rum glaze and um, frosting on it. The frosting is blue and purple specifically because of uh, Disney World's 50th celebration, which is 18 months long. Have you ever heard of such a long birthday <laughs> celebration? I mean, I wish I could do that for myself. It's a very rich buttercream frosting. Quick. I think that this one just needs a little bit more pineapple. I think the one pineapple slice isn't enough. I concur. 
triple chocolate layer cake, which is funny because it's actually five layers, but three different types of chocolate in here. You see how beautiful that is? Oh, Adriana, do it. This looks like my dream birthday cake. Wait, like, it is really moist. You know like that box cake? I, I love box chocolate cake. This reminds me of that. I'm sitting on my bed and I'd have this like on my belly and I'd be like eating it. What movie are you watching? Something like really comforting, like mm. Saw or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> the icing is cold, which was chocolate cake. Sometimes it's not moist enough. Um, this is super moist, and then the icing in the middle is cold, so it gives you that, like, nice, refreshing, like, cooling mm. sensation on your tongue with the richness of the chocolate. Oh. Is this supposed to be two people? Because also, I feel like it's ten. No, no, it also says on the menu, serves two. No, this serves ten. Okay, so if you hear serves two anywhere on the Boathouse menu, multiply that by three at least. Yeah. This is the most amount of sugar that's ever been in my box. Uh, Junior's cheesecake video, but <gasps> you love Junior's? I, when I went to New York, I specifically made sure that I went to Junior's cheesecake. That is a good one. It's good. That Speaking of cheesecake. cheesecake, that actually was. Wow, were you doing that on? Wow, that was good. We have a blueberry crumble cheesecake. It looks beautiful like a Junior's cheesecake would, except Junior's cheesecake does shortbread, not graham cracker. So. My favorite dessert ever is cheesecake. Really? Mm -hmm. This is the perfect bite. Um, it has the, the crumb on top. It has that nice little drizzle of blueberry with those blueberries in it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I'm on cloud nine? Did you put your duck in there? Yeah, I wanted my ducky to have a good time. It was missing out. Oh no. Oh, look. You're, uh, oh you, no. Because guys. when you bring it, like, shouldn't you just put it in every drink? Like, can't you bring it back? And, oh, favorite? <laughs> favorite? Favorite? Um, there's so many things on this table, and like, you would think that every one would be our favorite. I do love cheesecake, absolutely. I'm gonna say this one is my favorite. I'm gonna say the triple chocolate cake up here. Not only, did you just burp? <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, the disrespect. The triple chocolate cake is my favorite because when it comes to the table, it's really like loud and proud and it's moist and it feels like a celebration cake and it also isn't gonna melt. I love this martini. I love you. I love Adriana. I love this place. You're never invited back. Like no! <laughs> This is like, the, this is the messiest episode I've ever done, and I love it. Thank you for bringing mess into my life. That's what mess. I'm here for. <laughs> Before we go, please watch Adriana in our new Iconic Eats coming out very, very soon. We're very excited to have her part of the- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Too many desserts. Wanna take a rub of duckies and go? Yeah, let's go. It's like a choking hazard kind of if you- <laughs> Oh my God, my legs haven't felt this in a long time. Bye, Bye see you soon. Slide in this way. I would like to sleep on this side. In the boat. How do we do the horn? Don't, do not do that inside the I'm restaurant. Not. I'm not, I'm not. in so much beep, trouble. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I've never been so pregnant in my life. I'm a potato. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs>